So this lesson, what I want to do is I want to start using lists inside our system right here. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try in the HTML to actually start using unordered list and some list items. So let's just start out by adding a couple of an order, unordered list right here and a couple of list items. So let's just put the unordered list in here, UL, and then two list items. We'll just call it item one and item two for now. Item one and item two, there we go go. Now these items are going to represent some dynamic data we're going to create soon by actually adding a real list inside the TypeScript. Let's try and check this out. Notice right now it's not centered. Uh, it is centered. I don't want that. So let's just get rid of this styling up here for now in the div. Save this. Now it'll be aligned to the left. And that's, that's pretty much just a static way of representing uh, items right here in a simple list and uh, just using an on order list. Now we need that to be more dynamic. So we're going to go back to the code and we're going to try and figure out how we can actually make this data from dynamic uh, static data into actually dynamic data. So let's jump into our component and try to create our first list inside TypeScript right here. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we need some kind of property name. Let's just call it items. And that property name for now is just going to be a basic string array. So I'm just going to put in the array and I'm just going to make three items in this for now. Item one and item two. And notice they're just basic strings. There's nothing magic magical about this right here. It's very simple. And the semicolon in the end, there we go. So now we have a list of items inside TypeScript. And how do we get that list and present one list item inside the HTML? I want one list item per items in the list. So pretty much just meaning that for each item in the list now, I want a new list item. So what you're going to use is the ng4. So let me try and put that in here, ng4. And there, the, re the way you put this the syntax for using an ng4 is first you put in the let keyword to explain here is going to be an item. Um, it's going to just be a, a local property that I can now use to kind of reference an item. And then you say of items, pretty much meaning that I'm going to run over the current list of items. So the items here is actually the list of items and the single item is the one I want to present. And then just like you would normally do with the title, uh, and any property you need, you're just going to use the double curly bracket syntax in Angular to kind of explain that I'm going to use, um, you notice it just got into a purple color right there. The item that I'm, I'm marking right here is actually the same as I'm marking right here. So that's kind of how you represent each item in the list. So what I built right here is going to create one list item, li tag per item in the list of items. Okay, so that's kind of what it's going to present right now. So let's try and, and have a look at how that looks right now. And notice I have an extra item two down there, but it's actually item one, two, three, and then it pops up with an extra item two. And why is that the case? Well, if you see my code again, let's just try and have a look. It actually is because I forgot to remove this extra list item that's static right there. Let's get rid of that. And let's just try and have another look. And now you'll see it's the three dynamic items only, item one, two, and three from the actual array inside my TypeScript, right? So let's just, for the fun of it, try and add one more item in here, just to show you that when I refresh the page, I get item four here as well. Perfect. So that's working. And actually, if you guys remember, I had the small click, the small button click where I could count up one. Well, let's just try and use that to actually add another item to the list, just to have a look at how that would actually work. Now notice right away, I have to use the, this keyword to kind of talk to the list of items. And then you have to use the push command or the push uh, function on an array to actually add a new item to a list. And then I'm just going to add a new string and call it something different from the other guys so I can recognize that this is my new item. And let's just try and click this guy now and see a new item popping up every time I click. So that's how similar it is to work with lists or arrays inside uh, TypeScript and then grab those arrays inside the HTML and loop over each of these items in that list. So that's it for list. See you next time. Have fun.